racing this time now from the 1200 and touch faith was one of the first into stride with flying sword and like that and also right there is fairbow along the inside fireball a little deep into the first turn and king's trooper over on the inside from bingo bingo a length away with so awesome he's covering ground joyful genius also covering ground but does have cover bella baby back on the inside of jazz steed and splendid star is last of all inside the 750 like that fireball three up has moved around to join the leader covering ground is so awesome around Flying Sword and Fairbow in the trail. A lot handier tonight. Joyful Genius, three out. King's Trooper on the inside. Touch Faith, bingo, bingo. Bella Baby, further back, Jazz Steed and Splendid Star, the last of them. 400 to go. He's turning it up in front here is like that. He swings in by two links over Fireball, Fairbow, and then came King's Trooper, Flying Sword. So awesome. Joyful Genius and bingo, bingo down the outside. Like that has a lead of two and a half on Fairbo, Joyful Genius, and then came Bingo, Bingo down the outside, but the one horse up against the rail, like that, too strong. Second over Fairbo, close third, Joyful Genius is there with Bingo, Bingo, and not far away was Fireball with Flying Sword, Bella Baby, King's Trooper, Touch Faith, so awesome, Jazz Steed and Splendid Star. One like that, the Paul Lally best bet drifted out to uh, 4.4 on the end. Thank you very much. Too good, gone to the front, dictated Joe Marrera, Frankie Law, Fairbo second, Joyful Genius. And then you've got uh, Bingo Bingo there, Fireball not far away with uh, Flying Sword. But uh, like that, the son of Akid Mufid, of course, uh, a derby winner here in uh, Hong Kong with it being at BMW Hong Kong Derby week here with it uh, upcoming this weekend. An appropriate winner there like that. 111. Standing by for third and fourth. 19.98. It is outside standard, but uh, like that prevails for his fourth win at start 22. 1200 and touch faith was one of the first into stride with flying sword and like that and also right there is fairbow along the inside fireball a little deep into the first turn and king's trooper over on the inside from bingo bingo a length away with so awesome he's covering ground joyful genius also covering ground but does have cover bella baby back on the inside of jazz steed and splendid star is last of all inside the 750 like that fireball three up has moved around to join the leader covering ground is so awesome around flying sword and fairbow in the trail a lot handier tonight joyful genius three out king's trooper on the inside touch faith bingo bingo bella baby further back jazz steed and splendid star the last of them 400 to go he's turning it up in front here is like that he swings in by two links over fireball fairbow and then came king's trooper flying sword so awesome joyful genius and bingo bingo down the outside like that has a lead of two and a half on Fairbo Joyful Genius and then came Bingo Bingo down the outside but the one horse up against the rail like that too strong second over yeah like that first out and a first home there's the photo for third with Joyful Genius just getting that in front of Bingo Bingo to the outside but uh, the race time might be 109.98 there Nick but the win set up with the first sectional two Joe pinching it in front and uh, just had to dash home which like that is way more than capable of doing yeah most definitely and he's one of them horses isn't he i mean he was racing here on 59 he's he's an interesting type because he's he's probably i mean i don't want to say he's, he's too good for class four but he's proven that now hasn't he two runs for two wins both times carrying top weight he is just that little bit better than perhaps some of your, your sort of more run-of-the-mill class four horses but he's done a good job here and that's a treble for joe uh 44 50 the win the place 15 50 the runner-up 17 50 the third 20 50 quinella 134 50 forecast 179 the tears 1029 trio 217 as he unsaddles uh, like that uh, frankie law gets the win here 51 for frankie and uh, that's uh, Joe's um, 84th, uh, Jenny. So some valuable winners here this evening for the Magic Man. Yeah, definitely. So it's a treble. And uh, he g gave that horse a pretty good ride from gate number seven. He was three wide going around that first turn. Uh, so he was doing a little bit of work. But then again, the time wasn't all that fast. It was 24.52. It was outside of standard, the first section. And then 23.05. So that was still outside of standard. And once he got to the front, he just got a little breather. And uh, he was too strong in the end. So it was a nice effort. Well done to Frankie Laurie. He produced him looking an absolute treat. And he's lived up to that again.
He has, and Frankie moves to 51 for the season. You didn't have uh, any doubt to worry there, Paul. No, well, look, no, everyone was looking around, and then he, he was quite keen. I mean, Fireball didn't want to lead, so by doing that, uh, Joe took the bull by the horns. They're going slow enough. All the jockeys looking around, so he went to the front, and then Fireball decided to go forward and, and sit outside him. But by that stage, um, he'd had the rail, Joe, and he, he had enough in reserve. I mean, the horse had been running in strong class three races, so comes down to the uh, came, came down the straight, waving to the crowd. If there was one here, he would. I think he was waving to you. <laughs> you yeah, were you <laughs> waving to him? <laughs> Forget he's the speaking. Here's the replay for race six and wave again. The winner jumps from barrier number seven. Fairbow flying swords both jump well. Touch faith in the yellow cap with the black spots are near enough. Fireball looking to slot in. He's following like that at this stage. King's Troopers on the rail. Bingo, bingo, red blinkers. So awesome wide. And then we've got Joyful Genius from Jazz Steed on the inside, Bella Baby and Splendid Star. But like that, working across the lead here. And even though he was wide, Paul, they certainly weren't going any great time. No, so no one really wanted to press it. So that's why Joe uh, went down to the rail. Fireball eventually got outside him. No luck for so awesome. He was three wide there. Uh, Flying Saw got himself into a nice position. Fairbo was a little bit handier, as we said. Three wide with cover was uh, uh, Joyful Genius. He ran nice enough. Touch faith on his inside, Bella Baby. Uh, bingo, bingo, followed through uh, the, uh, Joyful Genius. But as they come for home, he's got a good break. So it's uh, race over here. He's well in front. Fairbow, he's holding on for second. Then we've got Fireball, Flying Sword, Blue Blinkers, Joyful Genius, Bingo, Bingo. They run it out wide from King's Trooper, but they're all pretty much holding their spots because the way the race was run, it was too easy for like that. Fairbow second, and Joyful Genius just holds third in front of Bingo, Bingo. He certainly does. Joe will sit and steer and Paul Lally will stand and cheer. Quinella placed dividends, 1 and 11, 49.50, 1 and 8, uh, 42.50, 8 and 11, $69.50 for the Quinella placed dividends out of race 6. The composite uh, overnight favourites, so horse number 1, $24.50 is the return on the composite if you had bracket A1 in uh, race 6 this evening for your $10 unit bet. The forecast at 1 to beat 11, $179 is the return for the forecast in the sixth race of the night. Like that, uh, beating Fairbo into uh, the runner-up spot there. First four, 1, 2, 8, 11, $178 the return on the first four. If you had uh, the first four numbers uh, in any order, but the quartet will pay a more handsome dividend if you had them in the, the correct order. With one the winner, beating 11, 8 and 2, 3,464 is the return for the quartet. If you uh, manage to find the first four there in the correct order. And the double, race 5, number 7, race 6, number 1, 1,159. The concession, 7 into 11, $202 there. The sectional times, let's uh, take a look at the uh, the times. 24.52, standard 23.65, so uh, notice, noticeably outside there for the first. Uh, 23.05, standard 22.75, so again outside. And 22.41, standard uh, 23.4. Uh, they run 109.98, the standard time is 109.80, so just fractionally outside there in the end for race six.